What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Um, a lot was going on yesterday in the world of boxing, so I tried to get most of the post-fight commentary um, for the bigger fights, the main events, out, and I think I've successfully done that at this point. So I'm going to talk about some other things, um, some of the undercard. And one of those issues is heavyweight Deontay Wilder. Um, it's not much to do as far as a post-fight because he knocked his opponent out in the first round, he just mauled him. Um, he was teeing off and he swinging so wildly He after he landed his big shots that he almost took a knee to the canvas himself because he was just so energized and really trying to maul the shit out of Harrison. Um, Harrison got out and I guess he didn't have a clear enough head, so the referee waved it off and stopped it. Um, so that's basically the gist of the fight. I'm sure you can catch it on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. Search it. I'm sure it'll come up um, somewhere. My thoughts. I, I, I like Deontay Wilder. Um, he's a bronze medalist, I believe, in the Olympics. And he's a big dude. He's six foot seven. Um, you could tell by his build. He, I mean, he's, he's a really big dude. And his power is apparent from the fights that I've seen. He knocked his last opponent before Harrison out. Knocked him out cold against the ropes. And he has... It looks like a charismatic, fun personality. So I really am anxious to see. It's not like, obviously, a lot of people um, know that the heavyweight division isn't really stacked. So Americans are constantly searching for that next great hope in the heavyweight division, the American hope. Um, we haven't really had had one recently. I mean, people put stock in, like, Haseem Rahman or somebody, and... He started looking bad towards the end of his career. So it's about time we have a, an American heavyweight champ. And it looks like this guy has a lot of potential. I'm not saying he's the best yet um, or that he can even take on the Klitschko's yet. But um, with some more fights and persistence and the right training and the right people in his corner and on his team, um, he can definitely probably beat one of the Klitschko's. Um, as far as because I mean the Klitschko's are doing nothing but getting older and they've been dominant for so long it's going to be a little bit hard unless you have the right personality to remain on top sometimes people get complacent I mean going through running through guys like Tony Thompson twice who knows how much passion the Klitschko's have and and again we've seen this with Manny Pacquiao too he was he was on top for a while um running through the opponents that were in front of him and he started getting to other shit, singing and politics. And we know the Klitschko's are into politics. So who knows what their hunger's like. And they are getting up there in age. And in the heavyweight division, one punch can really change everything. So I'd be anxious to see that. Um, they have to build Wilder up some more. But for now, I said this last week after the Tyson Fury fight. Make that Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Because it's, it's, it's apparent to me that Deontay Wilder, he, he can run through C and D class fighters, that's already, I mean, it's it's a given. He's he's too much for them, the people. Every single fight, I think he has 28 fights, and they're all ended in, in knockout. So it's apparent he's better than, than those guys. So let's see what he looks like against someone who's more of a B class fighter or an A fighter or someone with some momentum like a Tyson Fury. I don't really know where Tyson Fury um, lands, but... Put him in there with somebody like season like Tony Thompson, David the David Prices and um, the Tyson Furies, people like that who are building up their names. Um, I don't even think Seth Mitchell. I like Seth Mitchell a lot. He's a real humble guy, but I don't I don't think Seth Mitchell would want to fight Deontay Wilder. Um, he had a tough time with Jonathan Banks, and there was another fight. I think maybe even the fight before that, it looked like Seth Mitchell got hurt, and Seth Mitchell's maybe like 6'2", he looks about 6'2", and he's a big dude, but at the same time, when you're going up against someone who, who has you beat by 5 inches in height, I don't know, that's, that's kind of, that's that's pretty big of a difference, and he, it looks like he has long arms, Deontay Wilder, so really, I want to see, like I said last week, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, make that happen, I didn't get to see the Chris Ariola Bermain um, Stavern fight, but the, I would like to see him fight maybe Mr. Vern since he won. Just put him in there with some tougher competition so we can really gauge where, where he's at. What do you guys think? 
Um, I really want to see Deontay versus Tyson Fury. I think they both have personalities, so that would make some good post or excuse me, pre-fight interviews and whatnot. So let me know what you think. Is this guy the truth? Does he suck? Is he too wild? Um, I think he just needs to work on his accuracy a little bit. Um, and really, I need to see what his chin's like and can he go the distance because I think most of his fights have ended in four rounds or less. So what's his stamina like? Because, that again, that's a huge dude. He's a big dude. So what's his stamina like in the championship rounds, rounds 9, 10, 11, 12? If that were um, a title fight. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.